we probably none of us will have a job. But in that benign scenario, there would be universal high income. When most people think about the dangers of AI, their minds immediately go to the existential threat it poses to humanity. After all, what's to stop sentient robots that are much smarter and stronger than us from determining that we are a threat to the planet and need to be eliminated? And if that sounds like it came straight out of a sci-fi action movie like, you know, The Matrix, it's because there's a real possibility of us losing control over super intelligent AI. So if that happens, we could find ourselves fighting for our lives after giving AI a misleading prompt to do everything necessary to reverse, you know, global warming. When you take into account that we're now programming these robots to have better memories and act autonomously based on previous experiences, we could be forming the basis of a system that overrides any human intervention. But before we get to the level of where we have to worry about autonomous robots turning evil, we're more likely to face privacy and security challenges from hackers using the latest AI system. For instance, AI-powered surveillance technology could assess millions of hours of publicly available footage to track and monitor individuals, not to mention how a breach in AI systems could compromise the personal data of millions of users. If you use AI models like GPT-4, which store user information to improve future interactions, you'll be surprised about how much ChatGPT knows about your hometown, jobs, or habits. Just think about how many times you've asked it to help you reply to a work email or suggest a present for your partner. While it might all seem like meaningless information, a hacker with access to such personal data could easily use it to their advantage. Like the speculation surrounding Meta's role in influencing the outcome of Brexit. As an extension to manipulating the truth, advancements in generative AI make it easier than ever to misinform the public. Gone are the days when phrases like seeing is believing held significant meaning because in today's world, it's so easy to use deep fakes to create false images, videos, or audio recordings that never happened. Families are even resorting to creating safe words to avoid getting scammed by people using this technology to fake the kidnappings of loved ones. That's right, with enough photos and videos from the internet, fraudsters could create convincing phone calls that mimic your husband, wife, or children's voices in genuine distress. Besides scamming people, deep fakes could have a larger societal impact by spreading misinformation that could sway public opinion. Just recently, Elon Musk came under fire for sharing a deep fake video of presidential candidate Kamala Harris saying things she never said. And while Musk did clarify that the video was satire, it did lead to many people to speculate and perhaps even second guess their political opinions. Thus, AI could cause us to raise several integrity concerns, not just about elections, but multimedia evidence in general. Imagine a world where we can't believe what our eyes see or our ears hear. But for many people, the real danger in AI lies beyond a hypothetical war against the machines. Rather than living in a dystopian future similar to the Terminator franchise, more people believe that AI's real threat to our society lies in job displacement. Unfortunately, this concern is quite valid as thousands of people have already lost their jobs due to our society's increased reliance on AI technology. After all, why would a manufacturer want to employ 20 workers when they can buy a robot that does the same job more efficiently and at a much lower price. Even customers facing roles like retail aren't spared when it comes to layoffs. Chatbots, virtual assistants, and automated checkout systems make it easier for business owners to handle customer inquiries and purchases without a human representative. So even when they have no intentions of dumping all the work on AI, they're still bound to hire fewer people, reserving most of their human roles for high-level management positions for now. According to statistics, over 120 million workers will need to undergo retraining to stay relevant in a new world run almost entirely by AI. Right now, the surest way to ensure you don't get out of the equation is to jump on a career path that either contributes to the further development of AI or produces results by using AI more effectively. 
For instance, multiple online courses on prompt engineering focus on guiding users on how to generate their desired outputs on generative AI. So instead of brainstorming ways to get ChatGPT to answer complex questions correctly, these experts can get all the information they need by entering carefully chosen sentences. There are also emerging AI adjacent roles in different fields like art, content creation, and consultancy. However, even with all these new career paths, projections say approximately 45 million Americans might face job instability by 2030 due to AI. What about you? Do you think you could be one of these people? Of course, when millions of people lose their jobs within such a short time frame, there are bound to be ripple effects. The most obvious is that people won't be able to pay their bills or find affordable housing. As a result, rather than achieving the desired effect of making life better for all humans, introducing AI to the workforce could have the opposite effect by reducing the quality of life for millions of people. In the long run, widespread job losses could cause a dip in our economic activity and worsen an already terrible income gap. For many people, including the likes of Elon Musk, this is a far scarier and likelier reality than AI robots suddenly developing consciousness and deciding to wipe us out. A little over a week ago, OpenAI announced their plans to release a new feature for the Plus and team users of ChatGPT called Advanced Voice. Besides having five very human-like voice options, this feature pushes the boundaries of human-AI interaction by introducing a more personal touch. For example, if you have it on while you're working, you could throw a random question at it and get an answer in real time. It's kind of like asking a work colleague in a physical office setting a question and getting an answer that could lead to a long conversation. That's right, the advanced voice feature has a really low latency rate, which allows it to communicate like a real person. And with the ability to seamlessly switch accents, languages, and tones, depending on the conversation at hand, it's eerily similar to talking to a friend. It almost feels like a scene out of a sci-fi movie with sentient robots like Baymax from Big Hero 6 or C-3PO from Star Wars. So considering OpenAI is making such brilliant strides, a lot of people have been left stunned by OpenAI's CTO's decision to leave the company. Company. Less than 24 hours after OpenAI's launch of their Advanced Voices feature, Miri Marotti shared a note on her X account expressing her desire to leave the company, including in her note, our recent releases of Speech to Speech and OpenAI 01 marked the beginning of a new era in interaction and intelligence. We didn't merely build smarter models, we fundamentally change how AI systems learn and reason through complex problems. She then goes on to praise her team's brilliance and dedication, describing OpenAI as standing at the pinnacle of AI innovation. So given how involved Marathi would have been in the development of advanced voices, as the company's head of technical organization, it's quite shocking to say the least, that she's decided to step away rather than bask in the glory of her hard work and efforts. Wouldn't you agree? More so, Marathi's vague explanation for leaving open AI also didn't help the conspiracy theories of Bruin. She continued in her note, I'm stepping away because I want to create the time and space to do my own exploration. While I may no longer be in the trenches with you, I will still be rooting for you all. Although some people are willing to take her at her word, citing that is entirely possible that she simply needs the time off to tend to more personal pursuits. However, the timing seems rather off, considering her resignation came within hours of the company's newest innovation which could signal that Marathi isn't exactly on board with OpenAI's latest launch. Could it be possible that during the development phase of the speech-to-speech -speech feature, she became privy to some information or new line of direction for the company that didn't sit well with her? Perhaps Marathi's decision to resign so close to a leap in AI technology stems from growing concerns about its safety and how it could potentially end life as we know it in the most sinister interpretations. If so, she wouldn't be the first person to express reservations about artificial intelligence, as many well-known researchers in the field have 
openly shared their concerns about the speed of AI's growth and the danger it poses to humans. Do you believe she was being completely honest in her note, or could it be a warning sign of our doom? Let me know your opinion in the comment section. Before launching Advanced Voices, OpenAI relatively recently released an impressive new AI model design called O1. Unlike GPT-4, which requires you to figure out the best way to construct your prompt, often requiring trial and error, O1 takes out more time to carefully analyze its input before producing an answer. In a demonstration with AI researcher Jason Way, he asked both AI models to write a poem with specific constraints. While GPT-4 version was able to quickly reproduce an answer, it failed to meet some of the markers and required further prompting to get it right. On the other hand, O1 took more time in processing this request and even displayed a thinking flashcard before giving its answers. As you might have already guessed, the new model was able to construct an original poem that followed the prompt's constraints to the letter. And not only was it more accurate, but it also offered users a dropped button to evaluate its thought process, including analyzing endings and looking for words that rhyme. It essentially gives you the power to peek into its brainstorming session, emphasizing its ability to analyze things critically. So while that improves the quality of its output, it begs the question, how safe would we be if this technology got into the wrong hands? And what's to stop artificial intelligence itself from using its advanced abilities to wipe us out? Unfortunately, it only gets worse when you take into account that AI not only has the ability to manifest malicious thoughts towards humanity, but it can also carry them out. Thanks to recent developments in AI hardware, OpenAI has been able to implant complex neural networks and human-like bots and combine them with already impressive speech-to-speech -speech reasoning. These advancements often require collaboration, such as the one between OpenAI and the young robotics company, Figure with the former specializing in AI software and the latter working on the hardware. The duo was able to release an impressive update on their project to give AI a body. In the video they released six months ago, we see a researcher asking the humanoid bot simple questions like, what do you see? And asking it to multitask by putting dishes away while explaining some of its earlier decisions. Well, not only was the bot able to accomplish these tasks with ease, but it incorporated human-like speech in its overall output and even included a stutter as a normal person might while in the middle of an impromptu question. In other words, we're inching closer to a world where we can have intelligent conversations with AI without even realizing it. Imagine a world where every customer care agent is an AI designed to detect your tone and offer useful resolutions after listening to your complaint. If it were over the phone, would we even know we were talking to a bot? And besides customer service, how else could AI replace our livelihoods and potentially cause another Great Depression? More so, other companies like OpenAI are creating physical bodies to house their AI and incorporating more and more human-like features. Companies like Tesla are more focused on producing bots that can replace human labor in the manufacturing industry and also have to make these machines strong strong enough to care for heavy items. As a result, we're inching dangerously close to a reality where we have to trust that AI will remain subservient to us, even when they're twice as smart and strong as we are. But beyond doing the heavy lifting and helping you apologize in 50 different languages, AI can also fill emotional vacuums in our lives by bringing dead relatives back to life. While AI might not be able to help us perform acts of necromancy, it can help us create deep fakes of loved ones that have long passed. In fact, this technology is becoming a booming business in China, with the company Silicon Intelligence being one of the top service providers. This feature, Digital Immortality, often requires users to share hundreds of pictures videos, and even chats with their relatives to recreate photorealistic avatars you can even interact with in real time. As a result, many people are signing up to preserve their loved ones' memories with digital immortality services, 
Some even store information well in advance of their parents' or partner's death. One user even admitted to opening up about the pressures of life and work to his digital mother and sharing thoughts he couldn't discuss with his loving wife. So while some might argue that it's an excellent solution that could help us immortalize the memories of our deceased loved ones, others argue that it could cripple our ability to let people go and accept grief as a part of life. With so many negative outcomes, it's no wonder that people are quick to speculate on the sudden departure of Mira Marathi from OpenAI. After all, with the potential for super intelligent AI to wipe us from the earth if it chooses, and the already scary reality of AI taking our jobs, it only makes sense to regulate how we use artificial intelligence. The last thing we want is to have AI overtake humanity, endangering the world as we know it and pushing us over the edge of economic instability. However, that raises questions of how and even if we should clamp down on AI development. Do you think it'll be a net positive to humanity or are we signing our death warrant by pursuing more advanced levels of AI intelligence? Share your thoughts with me in the comment section below.